Hi everyone and welcome back. So before starting on this new method get snapshot before update, let's have a relook onto this diagram so that uh, so that you can get a clarity what we are talking here, right? So mounting is fine. Constructor get derived state from props. Render component did mount clear. Now you did some kind of a state update from any of these methods like maybe component did mount then new props or new state is getting set. So it is again going to call get derived state from props. This is going to get the new props which we are receiving if there is a parent component. Otherwise, it is getting the new state. Okay, then we have should component update which will decide do, do we re-render or not. If it is returning true, render is getting called then get snapshot before update then component did update. Clear? So this is the lifecycle method currently we are talking about. You are updating a state, then get derived state from props, should component update, render, get snapshot before update, and then finally, component did update. Okay, I hope uh, from this diagram that now we should have get a clarity that initialization we talked about, we see the logs, what all different methods are getting triggered. Now, this get derived state from props when you are updating the state. This is getting triggered and render is getting triggered. Now we have written should component update and get snapshot before update also. So let's update our code. So here we'll just uh, do a console.log. And here we'll just write this method name because this is getting triggered. And here, let me just revert the code. Okay, should component update we have, handle click, render, component update, and get derived state from props. We can have one more method which is get snapshot before update. This is accessing the previous props and previous state. We can just do console.log that this particular method is also getting executed in our render lifecycle whenever we are updating the state. Okay, component did mount. We can just log this method. So we'll try to visualize all these methods how they are getting executed. Okay, things are good. We don't have a constructor. Then this is fine. If I just try to show you. Okay, so initially we don't have a constructor, so get derived state from props, render and component did mount. Right? Now consider that I'm clicking onto this. So there is lifecycle method because I'm updating the state. You see what is getting executed when I click onto it? Handle click, get derived state from props, should component update, and let's put a logger in the render function also which we have, so should component update should return true. This is the mistake we have done, right? So it is not going to the render function. So now if I added a true, now when you change the state, it will follow the same path. Clicking onto it, now render is getting triggered, then get snapshot before update, handle click, get derived state from props, should component update, render and get snapshot before update. And there is a component did update also you can write and put a console logger there it will also come into the picture okay so what is happening when you clicking onto it handle click get derived state from props again getting called should component update here we are returning true that's why this render and get snapshot before update is getting triggered okay now i hope you got the idea log like how what is the sequence when you are updating the state or whenever you are rendering this component for the first time. It is calling the constructor, then get derived state from props, render, componented mount. In the componented mount, you can actually update the state. Uh, like you can just do a this dot set state to show to something else. Then uh, you can put this, this in the set timeout. And after one second, you wanted to execute this. Now if I reload it, initial methods, now 
these are the render life cycle initially now you updated the state from the componented mount so we are actually calling get derived state from props should component update render and get snapshot before update okay guys i hope now it is clear how we are actually executing these different methods now if we talk about what this get snapshot before update is doing okay so this method is something new get snapshot before update and what it is doing is so this is called between uh, the render and the actual update which we are doing on the ui so it is like render is done now we are calling get snapshot before update and then component did update okay so well there may be a delay between the render and having your changes to appear because whenever the state is getting changed a lot of things are happening and this method is doing it right so what this method is doing this method is accessing the previous props and previous state okay so what we can do with this method is uh, we can actually check the what exact changes we are going to get in the component so from previous props and previous state you can access okay this was the earlier state now i have something new okay so you will just check the previous uh, state and you will just check the current state and if you see that actually this particular state is coming as changed then do something okay so this is what this particular method is doing we will see that in the example so common use case is taking a look of uh, look at the some attribute of the current dom and passing the value to the component did update okay so this is what it is doing after this we have a component did update method and component did update is also having the same thing it is accessing the snapshot this i wanted to cover in next video but let's do this so component did update has a pre access to this snapshot and here we are actually calling this method so this is the last method which is getting triggered whenever the state is getting updated okay so here we have a three arguments previous props previous state and snapshot in component did update so it is actually doing nothing but it is actually if you wanted to react for a particular change which is happening on the ui like uh, scrolling to window to the top or doing some ui interaction when a particular change has happened then you can do that thing in a component did update okay so like if you wanted to just change the window scroll to a particular height that particular height is getting changed uh, with the state now you are getting lot of data so you can actually do that change okay so let's talk about this with an example in the next video here we you, we you can just see how these are getting executed you can see get snapshot before update and component did update is now coming okay thanks everyone